we are very fortunate to have the Prevention Pavilion here in the Philadelphia area. Fox Chase Cancer Center is among the leaders in cancer detection, prevention, and treatment. I'm Celine Hampson, and I'm a breast cancer survivor and the chairperson of Fox Chase Cancer Center's Star Recruitment Advisory Board. After my mother was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, it became increasingly more obvious to me and to my family that we did possibly have a significant risk factor. Early detection was going to be the only defense. After I was a member of FRAP for about three years, having become increasingly more aware about my own cancer risk, I was fortunate enough to detect my own changes in breast tissue, which then led to a diagnosis of breast cancer. And it was the critical link that I had with the FRAP program that enabled me to make that discovery. I get a lot of phone calls and, and people who need me to reach out to them and provide them with information and direction. And that's been a very rewarding part of being a survivor. We have as normal family life as every other family. What I really had hoped we'd get to, which it didn't really feel that it was going to be possible while I was going through treatment. I remember looking at other mothers in the backyard pushing their children on the swings and I didn't know that I'd ever get there again. And because I was able to be triumphant over my experience with breast cancer and uh, to have all the support and the treatment that I had at Fox Chase Cancer Center, I feel now that I'm blessed as any mother is to be here with her own two children. I think it's exciting that Fox Chase has moved into the millennium with the STAR trial initiative, which is a prevention trial. That's basically a study of the two drugs that have the prospect of preventing breast cancer. And at Fox Chase, I am on the recruitment advisory board uh, for that trial. And we're moving forward with strategies to identify women who are at risk and who would benefit from the trial. And, uh, and actually become empowered themselves to prevent cancer in their own lives and in their own families. When you come through the Prevention Pavilion, I want you to feel empowered and hopeful, not fearful and helpless.